Isra'ila ta sanar da kashi wanda ya jagoranci kai har da ya kashi daruruwan fararen hula a kasar Amakon Jiya. Amurka ta yi kiran da a dauki matakan kare fararen hula a yakin da ake yi tsakanin Hamas da Isra'ila. An kwashi wasu baki daga wani fitaccen gidan adana kayan tarihi a Faransa saboda dalilai na zaro. Adadin wadanda suka mutu daga hare-haren Isra'ila a zirin Gaza ya kai mutun 2215 yayin kuma da wasu sama da mutun 800 din suka ji kata kamar dai da ma'aikatan lafiya a yankin na Gaza ya sanar tawa ta sanar jiragen yakin Isra'ila game da wasu makaman artillery na ci gaba da lugudan wuta a yankunan da jama'a ke ciki a Gaza wannan dai hare-hare ne na ramuwar gayya da Isra'ila ke kaiwa a zirin bayan harin ba za ta da mayakan kungiyar Hamas suka kaddamar inda daruruwan fararen hula suka salwanta a Isra'ila. A wani sabon labari ma dai ma'aikatar tsaro a Isra'ila ta ce ta kashe komandan kungiyar Hamas Al-Qadi wanda shine jagoranci harin kan iyaka da aka kai kan gidajen yan Isra'ila a rana asabar din da ta gabata. Sojojin na Isra'ila sun kuma ce an kashe Ali Qadin ne yayin wani hari da aka kai da jirgi maran matuki bayan samun wasu bayanai na sirri sakataren hargokin wajen amurka antony blinken ya kira da a dauki matakan kare fararen hula a zirin gaza da kuma isra'ila wannan kiran ya zo ne yayin da sojojin isra'ila ke bada umurnin cewa Rabin al'umar yankin Palestine su kaura saboda hare-haren da za su fara gaddamarwa ta kasa. Antony Blinken ya gana da takwaran sa na Saudi ya rima Faisal bin Farhan a Birnin Riyadh. A lokacin da yake fara ziyarar kwanaki uku da yake yi a yankin gabas ta tsakiya. Ziyara ce dai ta diplomasiya mai manufar hana yaduwar yakin nan da ya barke tsakanin Isra'ila da kungiyar Hamas zuwa sassa na yankin Mr. Blinken ya daddada cewa babu wanda ke san ganin fararen hula na mutuwa kuma kasancewa cikin ukuba ina mai bayyana cewa kungiyar Hamas dai ta bato bata kungiyar Hamas dai bata wakiltar al'umar yankin Palestine to labaran duniyar na zuwa muku ne daga nan sashin Hausa na DW an kwashe wasu baki a wani fitaccen gidan adana kayan tarihi dake birnin Paris na kasar Faransa gidan da a yanzu aka rufe shi saboda dalilai na tsaro mai magana da yawon gidan tarihin na Louvre wato na Louvre da ya fi kowanne girma a duniya ya ce sun samu sakon da ke nuna cewa bakin na iya shiga hadari abin da ya sanya su daukar matakin kwashe su Faransar da ya tsaro da matakan an kararwa saboda fargabar tashin husuma bayan kisan wani malamin makaranta a garin Arras dake gabashin kasar ajiya Juma'a wani dan wanda dan sanda suka ci wani wanda jami'an yan sanda suka ce ya fito ne daga yankin Chechnya na kasar Russia shine aikata kisan a mashigar makarantar da malamin yake koyarwa bayan ne dai na cewa maharin yayi kabbara a lokacin da ya afka malamin da wuka Faransar dai ta sako da karu a kalla 700 a yanzu wadanda za su taimaka jami'an yan sanda wajen ganin an tabbatar da zaro Sojoji a Najeriya kuwa sun yi barin wuta ne ta sama akan yan bindigar daji wadanda ke addabar jama'a a jihar Zamfara dake arewa so yammacin kasar shi da sun ce sojojin nan Najeriya sun kashe akalla yan bindigar mutun 100 a ranar talata da ta gabata ne dai sojojin na sama a Najeriya suka tsananta hare-hare a dazukan jihar ta Zamfara kuma kamar yadda kakakin rundunar da ke fadi ba su kai ga tantance adadin yan bindigar da suka kashe ba tsawon shekaru ne dai yankunan Arewa maso yammacin Najeriya da matsakiyar kasar ke fama da matsalar yan bindiga wadanda ke satar mutane domin karbar kudade na fansa daga cikin wadanda suka suke kwashewa dai har da dalibai a makarantunsu manya da kuma kanana ko ayan kwanakin nan ma yan bindigar sun kwashi wasu dalibai yan wato makarantun jami'o'i a arewacin Najeriya
to baki daya mun zo ƙarshen labaran duniyar kenan da suka zo muku daga nan sashin Hausa na DW yanzu za mu je ga fagen mu na shirye-shirye DW ciniki da masana'antu masararan mu barkan mu da warhaka da kuma sake kasancewa tare da ku a wannan shiri da yasa ba ta bubato tutuwan da suka shafi tattalin arziki da ce gaban masana'antu a ko ina cikin duniya a yau da shirin zai yada zango ne a Amurka inda kamfanin Hyundai mallakin Korea ta kudu ya gina wata katafariyar masana'antar kera motoci dake amfani da lantarki kuma biliyoyin dalolin Amurka ne zai kashe wajen gudanar da wannan aikin lamarin dake zama mafi girman saka hannun jari a jihar Georgia sakamakon yadda gwamna Brian Kemp mai ra'ayin mazanjiya ya dadawa Hyundai ta hanyar rangwamen haraji sai ku biyo mu dan jin gundarin wannan shirin wanda ni Muhammad Awal Balarabe zan jagoranta to madalla kamfanin kera motoci na Hyundai na da burin yaukaka arzikin sa a kasar Amurka saboda haka ne ya fara da masana'antar kera motoci dake amfani da lantarki a jihar Georgia amma wannan ba shine kawai hannun jari da zai zuba ba Hasali Madi zai fada da aikin nasa ne ga sauran jihohin kudancin Amurka inda zai kafa masana'antar samar da batiran motoci dake amfani da lantarki ko da shike dai gwamna Brian Kemp na jihar Georgia da sauran yan siyasar yankin suna gujewa kalmar sauyin yanayi ko dumamar yanayi amma kuma suna daukar matakan da suka waje ba ciki har da haba kasabbin fasahohi na zamani da rage gurbataciyar iska da masana'antu ke fitarwa girma da fadin sabuwar masana'antar ta kera motocin lantarki zai kai tsawon kilometer 1 ce a shekara ta 2025 ne dai za a fara a kera motoci masu amfani da lantarki ga daukacin kasuwannin arewacin Amurka a wannan masana'anta mai nisan kilometa 30 yamma da tashar ruwan savana kuma motocin za su iya kaiwa 300 a kowace shekara har ila yau dai kamfanin Hyundai na Korea ta kudu zai samar da batira da irin waɗannan motocin lantarki ke bukata a cikin matsakaicin lokaci inda zai lamshe jimillar kudi sama da dala biliyan 5 dake zama mafi girman hannun jari a tarihin Georgia kuma mai yiwa ma wanda aka fi samarwa cikin sauri Amfara ne man wurin da za a kafa masana'antar kera motocin ne a watan janairun 2022 kuma an yanke shawarar kafawa a Savana bayan watanni hudu saboda gwamnatin Georgia da sauran yankunan da abin ya shafa sun dauki duk matakan karamci ga kamfanin Hyundai don jan shi a jika inji engineer Chris Smith na kamfanin Hyundai the Georgia team itself um um the JDA joint development authority wannan tawoga a Georgia ta kasance mai ban mamaki kwarai manyan abokan kasuwanci ne mun yi aikin hadin guiwa tare na cude ne in cude ka sun yi shirye-shirye dan tallafa mana kan wannan aikin their willingness to assist this project girman masana'antar da kamfani na Korea ta kudu ya samu ya kai girman filayen kwallon kafa sama da dubu akan dalar Amurka daya kacal amma kuma Hyundai yayi alƙawarin samar da ayyukan yi guda 8100 a cikin takaitaccen lokaci tun ma dai hukumar raye tattalin arzikin yankin da aka kafa na musamman ta samar da hanyar shiga wurin tare da wada ta ta da kwalta sannan ta samar da ruwa da wutar lantarki uwa uba ma dai ta rage wa kamfanin Hyundai haraji da ya kai dala biliyan guda da miliyan 800 amma kuma duk da haka akwai gwagwabanci gaba da yankin zai samu in ji shugaban wannan hukuma Trip Tolison This is the most revolutionary thing to come in the automobile world since the Model T. Wannan shine cigaba mafi girma da aka samu a cikin wannan masana'antar kera motoci tun baya ga samar da Model T ko kuma tun lokacin da aka samar da tsohon sampul na inji. Na yi imanin cewa nan da shekara ta 2035 kowane gida zai samu akalla mota mai amfani da lantarki guda daya. To menene da leading da ba za mu shiga adama da mu ba. And so why not why not be a player in that environment? Yawancin yan siyasar Republican a Georgia sun yi na'am da hangen Tolison. Ba sa magana game da yaki da sauyin yanayi a yanzu, amma sun fara ja'a kan damar da sabbin fasahohin zamani za su samar. Kata Infinga mai kula da gundumar Bryan County, mai shekaru 60 da haihuwa, yana daya daga cikin su, inda yace masana'antar za ta samar da bunkasar arziki saboda ma'aikata za su tashi daga matsakaicin kudin albashi na 230 zuwa sama. People are going to come from probably 90 miles away to work at this plant. Wannan masana'anta 
za ta jawo hankalin mutane daga ko ina cikin yankin wannan masana'anta za ta samu da albashi farawa daga 58 na euro zuwa 60 kuma tana da tsarin ba da horo wannan dama ce ga yaran da ba sa son zuwa jami'a ba mu da wani abu makamancin haka a yankin mu Sai dai ba kowa bane a cikin gundumar Brian yake da sha'awar ganin kasuwar masana'antar kera motoci ta Hyundai. Wani mai suna Reese dan shekaru 55 da haihuwa ya nuna bacin ransa kan dajin dake kofar gidansa da aka sare saboda kafa wannan masana'antar. Terrible is nothing good going to come out of it I don't think it's really. Mummuna abu ne wannan wata kyakkyawar unguwa ce da aka samu kwanciyar hankali amma kuma sun lalata ta beautiful community and they've destroyed it a takaice dai risi baya goyen bayan matakin da jahazza ta asali ta dauka na tallafawa masana'antar kera motoci masu amfani da lantarki kamar yawancin masu kadawa jam'iyyar republican da ke da ra'ayin jari hujja kuri a amurka risi yayi imanin cewa wannan masana'antar za ta samu kudi ne kawai idan gwamnatin biden ta tilasa wa mutane sayen motoci masu amfani da lantarki amma gwamna brian kemp na georgia yana shanya bo daga fan johnson magajin garin sabana duk da cewa yana sara tare da duban bakin gatari when you look at the types of storms that have hit us over the last several years dole ne maka luguguwa da ta abka mana cikin yan shekarun nan gwamnatin ya fito karara ya bayyana cewa sauyin yanayi ne shi gwamna camp ba zai fada yin nahin hakan ba saboda dalilai na siyasa amma duk mun san me wannan yake nufi to say it is um we all know what it is wannan dan siyasa na jam'iyyar Democrats na ganin masana'antar kera motocin Hyundai a jahar Georgia a matsayin wata dama ta ci gaba amma kuma a daya bangaren yana daukar ta a matsayin kalubale dalili ko shine akwai karancin gidaje masu arha a garin sa sannan dole ne ya samar da karin ababen moral rayuwa alhali gundumar sa ba ta amfana kai tsaye daga kudaden haraji amma kuma Johnson ya ce Hyundai zai iya taimakawa wajen saukakawa ƴan kasa chanza motoci zuwa ga masu amfani da lantarki hopefully having a plant this close muna fata maikata da ke makwabtaka za su samu da matakan karfafa ayyukan samu da cibiyoyin charging lantarki tayi da mutane za su samu saukin cikin motocin sa da ke amfani da wutar lantarki haka zai taimaka mana which helps us um obviously yanzu haka dai akwai wurare 35 na masana'antu da ke da alaka da motoci masu amfani da lantarki a cikin jahar Georgia ta Amurka inda hannayen jarin su suka zarta a dala biliyan 23 daya daga cikin wadannan shine kamfanin sabon tabatura na Ascent Elements kuma Roja Link da ke zama mataimakin shugaban kamfanin ya yi tsokaci akan wannan aikin nasu mun kirkiro hanyar da za ta ba mu damar samar da kayan aiki mai dorewa fiye da wanda aka saba a al'adance ana samun karancin iskar CO2 dake gurba ta muhalli da karancin makamashi kuma ba tare da asarar kayan aiki ba a wata masana'anta dake kusa da Atlanta ana fitar da ma'adinai mafi muhimmanci kamar lithium cobalt da dangin su daga tsaffin batura na motoci masu amfani da lantarki da kuma da gwalo da ake samarwa daga wata makociyar masana'antar batura amma Ling yace jimillar ayyuka sama da 500 da masana'antu kamar Ascent Element ke samarwa na samun karbuwa sosai tsakanin bangarorin biyu we have that is unique is that is a very bipartisan attraction we wani abun ci gaba ne ga dukkanin jam'iyyin domin ba kawai muna taimakawa wajen yada motocin da ke amfani da lantarki da kuma magance tasirin sauyin yanayi a wannan aiki bane amma saboda muna taimakawa wajen kafa tasirin samar da kayayyaki na gida tsakanin kamfanonin mu dan samun ma'adinai masu muhimmanci idan muna da karfin samarwa kanmu da batura na lithium da motoci masu amfani da wutar lantarki wadanda ya zuwa yanzu China ta mamaye to dole za mu gina wadannan masana'antu a nan Amurka ina ganin cewa da yawa daga cikin yan jam'iyyar Republican suna ganin kimar haka to masauraran mu anan ne kuma za mu dasa aya a wannan shirye na ciniki da masana'antu a madadin duk wadanda suka taimaka wannan shirin ya je gare ku ni Muhammad Awal Balarabi nake muku fatan alheri da ganin Burnin Bon na tarayyar Jamus DW Ada hadar kasuwannin duniya To ayo zamu duba abin da ya shafi hada hadar kasuwancin dabbobi a iyakar Najeriya da Jamhuriyar Niger kuma muna a kasuwar mai adua dake jahar Kaduna kasuwar da ta shahara wajen hada hadar kasuwancin dabbobi a jahohin arewa masoyan macin Najeriya 
sai dai an samu kuma bayan kasuwancin dabbobin tun bayan juyin mulkin sojojin jamhuriyar Niger wanda yasa kungiyar Ecowas rufe iyakokin Najeriya da jamhuriyar ta Niger sunana Yusuf Ibrahim Jargaba kuma ni ne shirya zan gabatar wannan kasuwa ta mai adua da ke iyaka da jamhuriyar Niger tana ci din mako kuma ana samun masu zuwa sayen dabbobin daga bangarori daban-daban na Najeriya da kuma masu kaiwa daga jamhuriyar Niger amma da ana yin hakan ne kafin rufe iyakokin nan irin yadda ake ci gaba da hada hadar kasuwancin ne dida yan kasuwar sun ce yanzu an samu tawaya da kusan kashi 80 cikin dari idan aka kwatanta da yadda ake yi kafin rufe iyakokin kasashen kamar yadda Abdu Abdu mai adua wani dake sana'ar sai da jakuna ya sheda ma DW sakamakon rufe iyakoki nan Niger da Nigeria kasuwanci ya raunana sosai mu dai bangaren na masu saida dabbobi muna cikin mauyacin halin da ba za ka musalta shi ba a da mutanen da suke zuwa kasar Niger su so dabbobi su kawo nan su saida ba za ka iya iyakance su ba amma a yanzu ba za ka iya mulisa ba mutum kamar goma ba zuwa 15 wanda suke sana'a haka su kansu ma yan Niger wanda suke kawo mana dabbobi a da a yanzu ba za ka lisa ba mutum biyar ba wanda yake shugawa da kanshi ya kawo wannan dabbobin saboda babu hanyar da za su shiga babu hanyar mu ma da zamu shiga me kuke so ku ga shugabanni sun yi abinda muke so mu ga shugabanni sun yi farko dai surungumi kasuwanci na matasa da suke yi a cikin kasa su duba cewa masalahar wannan ta bude boda ita ce masalaha wadda ta bi komi a wani bangaren kuma yan kasuwar na kokawa da karancin dabbobin da kuma tsadar su kana kuma babu masu zuwa sai musamman yadda harkar sufuri ta tsada a Najeriya ya sa masu safarar dabbobin daga kudancin Najeriya zuwa kasuwar ta mai adua sun rage shiga kasuwar sosai a cewar ya ugano mai saida saida raguna da tamaki gaskiya ma sai da kudi sun ragu shi ka san yanin kasanci ana tunanin inda ma ake samu abun ya kamata a zo a neme shi inda ba za a same shi ba ma ba za a zo ba sakamakon an san abun ba a samu shi kudin sun tsawala wasu ma a kudin sun zauna gidajen su sun hakura da a wani lokaci a baya za ka ka wani lokacin ya rabawa da sauran mutanen kudanci irin na yankin irin wariya ka bini da sauran su sun zo sun tika kasuwar da amma yanzu in ka lura ne abun nan ko somon da ke akwai in ka lura za ga dai dai ku ne ma gaba da tun daga lokacin da aka rabo da yanayin abubuwan gaskiya sun yi tsauri musamman sakamakon yanayin yadda kayan suka yi wahala shugowa ya sha bamban da yanayin baya to yanzu menene kuke ganin mafita gaskiya mafita idan da gwamnati za ta saurare mu ba ta shawarwari ta yarda muna ganin a bude yanayin bodan nan a dan samu al'amura su dan kas dan rage kudi yanayin kasuwanci ya dan tafi saboda za ga kwastomomi sun zo mutumin da ya kamata sai abu guda 20 za ga dawo yana sayen kusan kwara 8 kuma duka su ma idan suka dora yanayin da muke kukan aka su ma suke yin kukan wadannan kuma wasu tsofaffin yan kasuwa ne da suka dade suna sai da shanu a wannan kasuwa sun ce tunda suke ba su taba ganin tardakin kasuwanci ba sai da aka rufe iyakokin kasashen ni ne mai gari ali jassai mu dangata kan Niger da Nigeria duk kusan daya ne ya kamata a ce akanin Niger da Nigeria zaman to daya ne duk kuma da can da muka tayi ina da hekara ta kin sa ba amma ni bu taba samu matsala ba bu taba ganin matsala irin ta bana ba wadda ta kawo tsakanin Niger da Nigeria babu 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 higa babu huta wannan mun ka hauri a kasar nan saboda haka muna roƙon hukuma ta taimaka mana da ta bude mana boda rihin higida hucin nan ya kawo mana matsaloli da dama muna ganin matsaloli iri iri babu kasuwanci yana tafiya saboda daga can muke samu dabobin kuma a sayen su daga nan wurin Sani Amadu tunda muke a rayuwar duniya tun daga iyamu abin da ka rabu a taba samu matsala ba irin muhikirin nan akwai matsala ta hafu da abinci ta hafu Niger ta hafu Nigeria kowa da kowa da ana zuwa abin arziki kowa da ta biya gida shi da abin da ci yanzu abin zamu ci ma ga gare mu dama dai a Nigeria talakawa na ci gaba da fuskantar tsadar rayuwa sakamakon cire tallafin man Peter sai kuma gashi daga Busani mahukunta suka rufe iyakokin kasar da jamhuriyar Niger abin da ya kara dai da harkokin rayuwa Chuck Yusuf Ibrahim Jargaba DW Hausa daga kasuwar mai adua a jihar Katsina Arewa masoyan macin Najeriya
DW Kushiga Club Masu sauraro assalamu alaikum sannan mu da arzikin saki saduwa a wannan shiri na mu shiga club wanda ake kawo muku ayyukan kungiyoyin sa kai da irin gudumowa da suke bayarwa wajen kyautata rayuwar al'umma shirin mu na wannan mako zai duba ne kan ayyukan wata kungiyar Hausawa mazauna kasar Senegal dake hada kan al'umma Hausawa daga kasashe daban-daban da nufin